welcome our hot, dry weather on an unwelcome bumper crop of weeds and overgrown properties. And you haven't been bashful about letting the city know about it. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhart joins us now with more on that story, Jack. Well, Erica, the weather has been so hot and dry and the weed problem so bad that the Department of Code Enforcement began dealing with this issue three weeks ahead of schedule. By any measure, an environmental nuisance, the core of Indianapolis, overgrown and overrun with vegetation. Have you ever seen it this bad? No, no, no. In Brian Rutland's north side neighborhood, weeds have overtaken half a dozen properties. On one lot in the 3100 block of Broadway, the weeds have grown at least eight feet tall. My neighbor was talking about it. We called the mayor's action line, and uh, they said they'd be out here. Someone's out here this morning. And they're low cutting. Say they backlogged or whatever. Backlogged, and the Department of Code Enforcement has the numbers to prove it. Through June 10th, the number of investigations has increased by nearly 3,000 compared to the same period last year. Inspectors have issued 1,200 more citations. The city's mowing vendors have increased by more than 1,000, the number of lots cut. And even though compliance has increased over last year, it isn't enough for some. All in on it five times. Charlie Holland has an overgrown lot next door and one across the street. So how long have you been looking at this? All year. The city has put its mowing vendors to work, assessing property owners $353 for each property cut. By the end of the month, the Department of Code Enforcement hopes to have cut all the weed-covered lots in Center Township at least once. We are doing um, proactive sweeps of neighborhoods that have historically shown to have a high number of um, investigations and violations. So not only are people calling into the Mayor's Action Center, but we're actually reporting those ourselves. The Department of Code Enforcement places a lien on the property to ensure payments. The good news, the program is self-sustaining, meaning that violators and not the taxpayers pay to get the weeds cut. Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.